Hey, hi there, Scorpio. Welcome, and thank you for tuning in to the energies and influences coming through for the month of January 2019. This is a condensed general reading, so please only take the portions that resonate with you. I invite you to subscribe, like, and comment. Not only do I really love that, but it helps to bring your vibration into the future readings. Please remember to check out my description box below. Thanks, you guys. And after the reading is a take note moment. Okay, Scorpio, off camera, I've done a protective blessing. I've shuffled and meditated over these cards just for you. Your first card, it's the general atmosphere of the month. It's the background and the basis of the matter. The Nine of Swords, this is air energy. Scorpio, you're worried about something. You're thinking about it a lot. Thinking about it so much is keeping you awake at night. There's something you need to do and speak up about. The Nine of Swords. This is anxiety. And yes, it's unfounded. You need to speak up to solve these problems. These thoughts are racing through your head. The worrying is pointless unless it drives you to take action. You need to talk to someone. Or even write in your journal because it's therapeutic. You know, your fear is so much far worse than the actual outcome. You need to put two and two together. You need to look at contradictions around you. And you need to strengthen your resolve and your patience. Try not to feel down by the temporary blockages. And they are temporary. You need to make required changes for a better future. There should be some steps taken to solve this problem. Could have been ruined plans. Maybe even health worries. You are near the end of your mental ordeal. So stop ignoring your fears, because it will bring insomnia. Your second card. It's the energies crossing over your path. It can be a challenge. Number eight of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck. This is strength. Can represent Leo. Number eight is fortitude, courage, and strength. This is using determination. This is your inner strength. This represents spiritual power overcoming material power. It's love triumphing over hate. It's the higher nature over carnal desires. And you can allow negative feelings to come out in a positive way. There are hidden feelings. You need to find a balance with your basic drives. This is having faith in yourself, and it will pay off. You need to endure for a better future. You're holding steady, despite challenges. And you're being strong in spirit. So stay gentle, and use your courage and your quiet confidence. Your third card, and this is how it affects you. The Eight of Swords, this is also air energy. This is restriction and bondage. Now you have the bottom of the deck card, which is secret knowledge coming out. That could be what you're worried about. Because there's a, some kind of fear that's keeping you bonded. Could be a fear to move out of a situation. It's again a temporary durance here. These are limiting beliefs. This is being your own worst enemy because it's you that can change matters. You're feeling trapped, making excuses, maybe having a little bit of that victim mentality. You need to use courage to think in a new way. Yep, that's what 
the strength card says, and that's what the nine of swords says too. You'll then be restricted, freed from restrictions and frustration. You know, unless you change some kind of habitual behavior, you're not going to get any further. And when you dwell on wrong thoughts and wrong informations and choices or ideas, it binds you from any forward movement. But a sign is going to come to show you the way. You won't remain stuck. The real freedom comes from inside you, your own spirit. Remember, this is a temporary durance. Your fourth card. It's the position of the future. It's the under, it's the results. It's the outcome and the advice. The Ten of Swords, more air energy. You felt like you hit rock bottom. There is a new dawn on the horizon. This is going to be the ending of backstabbing gossip Ten of Swords. It's also the end of a period of trials and hardships. You feel like there's nowhere go, nowhere to go but up now. This is making a clean break. It's something that was in the past. It's some kind of pain that that comes from the past. You may feel like you've sacrificed without any return. You might feel like you've made huge sacrifices for others. This is a lesson learned. There's no making the same mistake twice. That dawn breaking gives promise of a rebirth. It's clearing the ground for the new. This represents the destructive mind and weapons of intellect. Be careful about drawing conclusions too quickly. You're seeing realistically then, and you'll be able to move forward. This is going to be the end of a painful separation or a health concern or, or worries. It's going to be a closure, and you'll get to move forward. It's the end of a false way of seeing something. Your fifth card. It's the bottom of the deck card. It's the underlying issue. This is what's unseen. Number two of the major arcana in the Rider Waite deck. The High Priestess. This is that hidden knowledge preparing to come forward. It's the thing that you're worried about. The thing that's keeping you restricted. Once this information comes out, Everything gets better. So you need to pay attention to your dreams and your hunches. This may be a time to sit still. Someone may still attempt to hide something that should be revealed. This can also indicate there's a strong, wise female presence around you. Tune into your inner voice and your spiritual awareness. Because there are hidden influences. It has to do with divine truth and wisdom. This could be someone psychic. This is a time to honor your inner being. This person holds a scroll that represents the Akashic Records. This is the divine record of our lives, past, present, and future. And a spiritual revelation is about to happen. You may actually see the solution to a problem and you know the correct path to take in this current situation. It deals with a revelation of hidden mysteries and the unfolding of a deeper sentiment and emotion. Thank you guys. Now stay tuned in and leave me a comment. Take note, for this is key. I have faith that when using the law of attraction for the good of everyone, you are connecting yourself to a great power as an individual, the law is also available so we may live our lives to the fullest. So when we live our lives to the fullest, we have so much more to give to others. Our pain and misery will not help the world, 
but our joy and a life lived fully uplifts the world. What goes around comes around, so I'm sending out love and light, you guys. Thanks for watching.